Welcome to Mr. Alec Hand's YouTube channel. In this video, you will see a multi-step electrical diagnosis procedure, which will help you diagnose electrical electronics, including multiplex and canvas systems. Uh, be sure to follow all safety precaution and wear your safety glasses. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you a, a series of procedures that you could do to find out any electrical problem. Okay, everything starts at the battery. Uh, battery is the source of all the electrical source and uh, it is where everything starts and goes from the negative side and also from the positive side every anything between these two posts and anything else that's electrical for instance these uh, uh, coil packs where are they getting the power from they are getting from the battery and anything between here and here is wrong by doing these procedures you should be able to figure out and uh, uh, first thing I want to talk talk to you about is these uh, jumper leads. These jumper leads were uh, made by my students, and they put an inline fuse. And uh, um, the jumper leads basically there's a red one. It doesn't matter how long of a jumper lead you uh, you make. Uh, my students decided to make about uh, uh, um, 15 foot each, and uh, that that's pretty much a normal size for a truck or a car that you could use. A black one with the alligator clip soldered really nicely and uh, a red one with an alligator clip on one end soldered really nicely okay for any uh, 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 to eliminate any resistance and also they put a they soldered a jump uh, basically a fuse inline fuse in the middle so you can put whatever uh, size fuse you need to depending on what circuit you're working on um, one thing I would suggest is do not buy the fuse holder that has a, a um, LED indicator showing how if the fuse is blown or not. It's not that hard to see if the fuse is blown. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Step number one for this is uh, checking how much battery voltage we have. Okay. It's called the uh, uh, open circuit voltage. Basically, we're checking how much voltage we have to start off with from the battery going to everything so for that uh, what my student did was he made some jumper leads like like I mentioned earlier and uh, hooked them up and he's literally he sits in the car and those jumper leads are connected to the DVOM leads which are right here with the other other end of uh, alligator clips so uh, right now we see is 12.72 you record that down on your repair order uh, in that fashion but uh, it's up to you how you write it down okay okay next procedure is uh, checking the accessory ground voltage drop voltage drop is basically how much starts out here and how much at the end of wherever you're checking uh, you end up accessory ground voltage drop start uh, basically you test the voltage drop between this point and this point which is the accessory ground um, which is the accessory ground this this little wire goes from the battery post to the either the fender or the uh, uh, side, side of the wheel well or what have you it's going to be different locations on different cars but you got to look for that little ground and follow it that's the accessory ground so we're trying to check for uh, a voltage drop between the post and where the accessory ground hooks up to the body or the chassis for the accessory ground voltage drop now what we need to do is Turn the ignition key on and turn all the loads that, that you have, such as uh, the wipers, uh, the high beam headlights, and everything, the radio, um, and AC if you have AC with the engine off though. Ma make sure the blower motor is going and everything. Now what you do is uh, uh, you take your uh, positive lead of your voltmeter with the voltmeter on the DC volts and go take your negative lead go to the closest accessory ground and check for a voltage drop and in this case we got like point nothing basically point zero one at max voltage drop between this point and this point where the accessory ground hooks up after you get done make sure you turn off the accessories turn off all the all the headlights turn off the wipers and everything that you turn on for the accessory ground voltage drop test turn them off next we're gonna check the uh, um, battery cranking voltage basically what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna crank the engine and while we're cranking we're gonna check how much the battery voltage drops okay what's the lowest number that you see on your DVOM 
For this, we're gonna use our jumper leads and go sit in the car and do it. The reason we're doing it is I want you guys to actually be independent on this test. You, If you didn't have the jumper leads, you would need somebody to hold the voltmeter here while you go in the car and crank it. But in this case, we're gonna go sit in the car, take your jumper leads, hook them up to the battery and uh, make sure you don't connect them together because that will blow your fuse, uh, the 20 amp fuse that you have and lead them in the car and basically go do okay. the test. Inside. Now we're gonna crank the engine over and just bump the starter. Don't, don't let the engine uh, uh, start up, just bump it. And we're looking for the lowest voltage reading. Okay, I saw 10.30, 10.31 voltage uh, uh, that the starter brought the battery down to. And uh, uh, a good battery that can uh, uh, crank the engine over without draining itself uh, a lot, whole lot would be between 10 to 10 to 11.5 volts. And if it does be go below on an older vehicle, when I say older vehicle, prior to 2003, if it goes below 9.6 then we have a bad battery, okay? The battery is not able to crank the car over without killing itself. Or a newer vehicle, which is newer than 2003 or newer, uh, if it goes below 10.6 volts, then we know that the battery is uh, uh, not able to uh, crank the car over without killing itself. Okay, this brings us to the end of part one. Be sure to look for uh, part two in my channel and subscribe it for the electrical diagnosis. Thank you.